What's up gamers? How's everybody doing? And welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the best investments to make a lot of stubs. We got a new roster update coming in the next 48 hours. So if you want to get ahead, make sure you stay tuned to this channel by dropping a like on the video, subscribing if you're new, and turning your notifications on. We do have the double giveaway, so make sure that you are subscribed and make sure that your notifications is on. Go ahead, double check it, and shout out to all the MVPs. A lot of y'all been showing a lot of love and support and i thank each and every one of y'all let's get into today's banger. if you're looking for great gaming services head on over to ahmlb and make sure you use code fat for five percent off your order and let's get into the marketing part of this strategy okay so if you come right here i'm gonna show you the investments that i already made on my team and then I'm gonna go over the best investments that you should do so if you go to my completed orders IZ LB's okay right now I went and bought a few of these for 1399 so if you can find him for 1600 or lower go get yourself five or six of these another investment is this Garcia he has about 14 to 16 home runs in the season. So sooner or later, he will get upgraded. Now you can see, when is a goal, the sale now has to be at at least a thousand, okay? But I went and picked up a few of these for about a thousand and two stubs because if he does get the boost that he needs, if he goes up to at least a 83, that's gonna take his price from 1,143 to the 36 to 3,800 range so me having five to seven of them that would be a quick four to five thousand stub profit and that's always a good thing the next investment you should be looking for is this Ozzy Albus you can see Atlanta Braves he is playing up to an 86 overall so whether they give him a one step boost or they give him that two step boost that he deserves that will give you an extra four to five thousand stubs every single time so you can see right now you can go buy these for 1556 if it goes diamond that's automatically five thousand quick sale depending on the stats now his power right is very low five thousand would be the bare minimum so he can be 54 5700 if you bind him for 1560 a pop you are making four thousand stubs on every single card that you have so I always say the bare minimum is to get five of the cards that you are expecting to have an upgrade because that's going to make you 5,000 stubs. If you do it with eight different players and you got five each, you are looking at between 50 and 95,000 stubs and all you have to do is turn your console on on Friday and sit back and collect your stubs. And that's the beauty of it. So drop a like on the video. The next card that everyone has been waiting on is this Lance Lynn. So if you can get him... He's kind of expensive right now for a goal, but this is the range that you should be expecting for the other cards that I was telling you about. If they are 81s playing up and they get at least an 84, expect for them to be around the 4,500 to 4,900 range. So if you buy them for 1,700 and you can sell them for 4,900, that's 3,000 profit that you will have on every single card, whether it's a duplicate, if you got 12 of them, if you got five of them. It's all about making stubs and not losing stubs. Okay, so this Lance Lynn, he should have had an upgrade last time. This week, he should be going up to at least an 86 minimum. So that's going to take his price up from this 4,000 at least double end price. I got about six or seven of them. The next card that I'm expecting to get ready to go up is this Yuli Gorio. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I probably just butchered it. But he's an 84 overall. Same price range as the Lance Lynn. You can get him right now for 4,000 stubs. So if you can catch him, 4,059 and lower, you are going to make guaranteed profit. It should be this week. He's due for an upgrade. He has low power versus righties, but he has good contact on both sides of the bat. So if they can get his power boosted up to go along with his contact, get his fielding boosted up a little bit more, he will be in the 7,500 to 8,500 range. Remember, a diamond, no matter if he only goes to an 85 overall, is a 5,000 quick sale. So if you can get him for 4,000, you still will automatically make 
a 1200 or 1300 profit on them so if you got five of them that's five thousand the ones that you would collect earlier or have the biggest profit margin drop a like on the video if you're this far into the video you should be watching the full video i'm helping y'all make stubs and that's what mlb 21 is all about so the last and final card we're going to talk about in this video is the jesse winker he just got a card in the new program so you can expect for him to at least hit a 85 overall on the roster update which would take him from this 3159 you can buy him right now for 3160 and if he gets the upgrade like he's supposed to he would go up to about 55 to 75 hundred stubs that's going to be 25 to 35 hundred profit if you have seven or eight of them you send that 21 to 28 k stubs profit follow me on all social media i also give insight there that i don't put into a video but make sure you take advantage of this and i'll see y'all in the next video drop a like subscribe Turn your notifications on. Shout out to the MVPs. Let's go.